girl Kendra and I'm back with another video. In this video, it's going to be a review of the BET Awards. You guys, this year was probably one of the best awards I've seen in a long time. However, some things weren't... Well, if you want to hear my opinion on the BET Awards, then stay tuned. Okay, so right off the back, um... I want to say that the BET Awards host, Miss Regina Hall, I love her. Like, honestly, if, like, nobody would have showed up and it would have been whack, like, I'm just happy that she was able to host it. However, like, when she first came in, she did a little homecoming thing, like, trying to, you know, like, be like Beyonce. That was cute. The little DC thing, I got it. She from DC. It was cute. Her and Taraji, they was cute. And then, like, she kept making DC references throughout the show. And after a while, it kind of just got old. Like, if you're not from DC, you really didn't know what the fuck she was talking about. So, that was kind of okay. So, then it kind of got to a point where she wasn't funny no more. Hate to say it, but yeah. But, Cardi B opened the show. Um, that was a really good performance. A lot of people are raving because uh, Offset, she performed Clout with Offset. And Offset had his little choreography routine he would dance like a Morion and t-pain with the little you know the little pop lock and the stuff he'd be doing but everybody has seen all them old ass videos of offset dancing i think he was when he was a kid he was dancing with whitney houston in a video um and then of course he was dancing like in this other video like in his room like everyone has seen those dancing videos of offset so i don't know why everybody was surprised that he was dancing um but now everybody like, oh, we love Offset. We like the song more now, blah, blah. And I'm like, y'all fake as fuck. Because when he was cheating on Cardi, did nobody give a fuck about Offset? And I still don't. Like, he cool. Like, you know, I like the Migos or whatever. But every time he, like, with Cardi, like, I just wish he would, Cardi would separate that. Like, I know that's her husband, but stop forcing him on us. Kind of like how Beyonce be forcing Jay-Z on us, like, we know you forgave him. We know that's your husband. Well, we don't have to forgive him because you did. Stop forcing him on us. Like, I like Cardi separately. I don't care for her. I mean, I like the little clout song. I ain't gonna lie. I kind of like the clout song. But I just feel like that was, like, her moment. And she ain't have to. I mean, he performed, like, with the Migos, like, right after that. So it was like he really ain't have to do all that. But she did good. You know, she got her some little choreography um, in as well. And I know she really can't dance um, on beat. But, you know, she did good. Her bob was cute. She looked cute. She didn't bust out her, none of her clothes. Like, Cardi did amazing. Now, my favorite uh, performance of the night was Lizzo. And Lizzo, I'm not really, like, a huge... Sorry, y'all. This eyelash is doing the absolute most. I'm not really a huge fan of Lizzo. I know that one song she got, and I know that song because it was on that movie on Netflix with um, the girl from Jane the Virgin. Other than that, I ain't never heard any of her other songs. And I just know that she a girl, um, a plus size girl. She's really pretty, by the way. Um, and she played a flute. And I, I commend anyone who does instruments. I mean, that's talent, like, for me. And I don't, to this day, I don't know where she pulled that flute from. Because she went from twerking to all of a sudden playing a flute. I don't know if it was in her titties, where it was. But she put out a flute out of nowhere. Like, nowhere. Um, but that was my favorite performance of the night besides Mary. Now, I'm gonna get to Mary J. Blige in a second. Um, I'm trying to see what else happened. Um, yeah, Liz had the best performance. Lil Nas X did really well as well. Um, I mean, it was like the best performance, but I think a lot of people are kind of just happy about his success and how far he's come. And he had Billy Ray Cyrus with him, so that was cool. Um, the worst performance probably was the city girls because it was just Carisha up there pregnant by herself she performed like two minutes not even two minutes like a minute and a half of act up and then little baby came out of nowhere little baby looked depressed little baby won an award like I was kind of happy for him but you know I only really I only like little baby because I like a more Jada and like I hate when people be like oh this little baby baby mama like no Jada had a name for herself before she got with little baby and so I think I kind of just support him because I like her but like when he won his award he was just like oh it's like he like woke up from a nap and then went up there and accepted it and he performed more than anybody i think the night now he only performed like twice 
Okay. Yeah, he only performed like twice. Quality control, P and them, everybody on that label performed on the big stage that night. Cardi performed, Migos performed, Lil Baby performed, City Girls performed. Who else is on that label? Is that everybody? I don't think Saweetie is on there. But Saweetie performed at the little pre-show, which thank God because, ooh, I'm happy that girl is cute. Because Saweetie... I like her song though, but I like Claws. So I think that's why I like that my type song because I like Claws. But um, yeah, Meg Thee Stallion. Okay, so a lot of people are mad because Meg Thee Stallion didn't perform. Now me being from Texas around the Houston area, of course I'm always gonna stand for Meg. Like I love Megan. Um, I think she should have had more. I think she should have performed on the main stage over Carisha, pregnant as. But um, let me stop. Young Miami. Let me call her by the name y'all know because everybody. I think it's funny when people call her Carisha because. <laughs> She's, I don't know, I just think it's funny. But I think she should have performed, especially if it was only gonna be like a minute and a half, I think Meg should have performed over Carisha because Carisha's pregnant. Like, sit your ass down, like you're not Cardi. Like, Cardi had to perform because she was by herself. Carisha, you ain't gotta perform, bro. Jay, your, your teammate is in jail. You can literally, I thought she got pregnant so she wouldn't have to perform no more, but they still making her ass perform. And I think Carisha's tired. Cause it's all her stage presence says she's tired. Her stage presence says she was tired before she got pregnant. She is tired. Leave Carisha alone. But um, at first I was just like, nah. I'm like Meg just came out. She's from Houston. Like you know, we're just happy that she's at the BT Awards. And then once I seen the performances, I was like, oh, she definitely should have probably performed over Carisha. So I mean, and eh. but she did do good at her little pre-show on the on the oh, it was blue carpet this year for uh, Nipsey. Now, my only concern, or my only thing about that was that it wasn't Nipsey Blue. That was like some powder blue. Y'all know like that fun dip we used to eat when we were little and it was like the powder and you had the little white candy stick you would dip in it. Like It was like that color blue, raspberry blue. Like It wasn't like a royal blue or like a blue that complements black skin. So every time someone would take a picture on the red, or I keep saying red carpet, but on the blue carpet, it would like the flash oh my god something in my eye the flash would like make the black people look ashy like i swear like justine sky was flawless like she had the most beautiful like i think she had the most she was like my favorite best dressed or whatever but i think justine sky is always pretty like i always stay in justine sky and ryan and destiny like i love them um but as you know ryan destiny is my little intro song so i stand those two black queens but um she looks kind of ashy, but it's not because she was ashy. I'm sure she's very moisturized. It's because the lights just didn't reflect off that blue well. So that's like the only, like, you know, thing I have to say about the blue carpet. But other than that, the Nipsey tribute was beautiful. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and talk about Nipsey, um, his tribute. So personally, it's only been three months. I felt like lower and tired. Like, I just feel like. You know, like how you try to grieve with something, like you lose your person, right? His kids was up there, his mom, grandma, daddy, all of them was up there. And his brother wasn't there, which was shocking me, but his sister was there. And I feel like, you know, it's good to pay homage and to, you know, do a tribute to someone who's passed away. But I feel like it's still kind of new. Like literally every day, it's not one day I, that goes by where I think, damn, Nipsey's dead. And I feel like, they're still grieving and Lauren looked like she just tired of talking about it. She's tired of telling y'all the marathon continues. She's tired of telling y'all thank you for your prayer. Like what else can you say when you lose your person? And my heart felt for them. Like I don't know how Imani, his daughter, she's so beautiful. Uh, I don't know how they sat up there and didn't cry. And they're probably because they cried out because I was bawling. Like I was crying. I feel like they are probably all cried out. And so his mom got up there. A lot of people on Twitter didn't really understand. A lot of people on Twitter were saying that his mom was kind of off. She's kind of crazy. And I think she's just a really, really spiritual person. And if you're not on that level of spirituality, then whatever she said went right above your head. Now, I'm not on that level, but I can read through the lines, especially like, when you, you know, you grow up in a church and, you know, you, you talk about, you know, get into heaven or whatever, blah, blah. So I can kind of read through the lines because I've seen and, and dealt with people like Nipsey's mom before basically what I got from what she was trying to say was stop grieve not stop grieving but let Nipsey rest in peace 
so that his spirit because his spirit is i think it was something like like so like his spirit can go ahead and cross over because a lot of times whenever um, our loved ones die we grieve so much we grieve so much and it's hard to get over and it's hard to let go so then like the spirit of our loved ones i'm assuming um kind of don't want to leave and they kind of linger around here on earth but you have to kind of let go of their earthly stuff and let them you know cross over and just believe in them in, in spirit and trust that they're always with you and watching over you and blah 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 but people on twitter they didn't really get all that like but basically she was just trying to say like she's at peace with it like she knows um you know we're we're born to we're born to die like we come here we fulfill our purpose and we die and we go back to god like that's how all of this works that's how life works and um I don't know. I think she was kind of just telling us, like, you know, stop being sad about it. Like, he's in a better place. And um, they're good. Period. And then it was kind of awkward because then his daddy tried to speak. And the mama was getting on daddy nerves. And daddy kind of checked her and told her to, you know, shoo-shoo. That was funny. It was awkward, but it was funny. Um, So, yeah. Um, I think of what else. What else? What else? What else happened? Um... Mary J. Blige. Okay, so Mary J. Blige got the Lifetime Achievement Award. Rihanna gave it to her. Everybody was happy for Rihanna because we haven't seen Rihanna in about two years. Um, I don't know why y'all thought Rihanna was going to sing. Like, I know, like, people love Rihanna. I like Rihanna as a person. I think she's a bomb-ass chick. But come on, y'all. Like, as a vocalist. That's, I think Rihanna been trying to tell y'all she don't want to sing no more. She want to make makeup. She want to make lingerie. She want to take over the world and have multiple streams of income. Music is not her only talent. It's barely a talent. She's not the best singer. But she makes good music. Like She has some bops. Like Definitely love Rihanna. But y'all be treating Rihanna like she Beyonce. And like I said, I like Rihanna as a person. Is she my favorite singer? Fuck no. Fuck no. But she does have some good songs. I love her songs and... But I hate when y'all be, like, badgering her to make music. Like, bitch, for what? Like, she's not a singer. I mean, she is, but have you heard her live? Like, anyway, Rihanna fans, maybe don't come for me. I love Rihanna. I just feel like y'all should let that girl do what the fuck she want to do. And a lot of the reasons that I like Rihanna has nothing to do with her music. Point blank, period. But that's just me. But, um, so she came out, she looked amazing. Forehead was on 10. Big forehead girls. She was repping. Um... I, think I want to dye my hair red now so I can be like her but anyways so she came and gave the award and it was so funny because we was like oh ain't nobody gonna sing for Mary like Mary went up there accepted her award Mary came out and did her own damn tribute she performed like 10 songs and had on some thigh high boots with her booty cheeks hanging out and did amazing like I was screaming like go Mary go Mary like she did so good for her to be at her age and she brought little Kim out little Kim who Jesus. Oh, I really, I really hate what people, the media did to Little Kim. Like herself, like she was so beautiful and now she just, anyway, so Mary's uh, performance was amazing. Um, and yeah, like overall, that was probably the best award show BT has had in a very, very long time. I can't wait for Beyonce to do a Lifetime Achievement Award. Because if it's anything like Mary's, it's probably going to be like Mary's times 10. It's going to be amazing. Because I think Beyonce is going to still be able to do all the shit she's doing now. At Mary J. Blige's age, it's going to be amazing. Amazing. Like, Jay-Z already 50. And, like, he's going to be doing this. Oh, it's going to be. Oh, I just I already know that Beyonce is like trying to choose awards. It's going to be crazy. But, um, yeah. Orange was amazing. I literally have no complaints. Um, it was long as fuck. It was like four hours. But, shit, I didn't have shit to do today. So, I stayed up and watched it. Um, if y'all, any more moments that I missed or anything y'all want to talk about, let me know down in the description box below. And if you like these type of videos, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, bye guys.